Good evening, and it is hump day. Happy hump day, everybody. It's another see with session. My goodness, we have been moving around. What's a see with session? I'm so glad you asked. A see with session is a pop up interview in a pop up location with a surprise guest. Earlier, I made a post saying that if you are a business owner and you want to take your brand to the next level, then you need to tune in to this live conversation. Are you tuned in? Are you listening? Are you watching? Do you have your notepads out? I hope so, because my special guest today is not only a friend and Gary native, but she is also a Gary Westside graduate. So, you know, this is a very special edition because I have a fellow cougar here. <laughs> but in all seriousness, this is Cheryl Anderson. And she is the proprietor, the owner, the leader of Fuel Media. And she and I have been working together over the past few months. But finally, she has come home Come home to the area for a few days, and I finally get to get you I on know. camera. Hey, Cheryl, welcome hey, home. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glad to be here. Good to finally meet you in person. In person. Yes. You know, Zoom is good, but in person, it's just great it's to be back best. face to face. It's again. best. And I'm like listening to your voice, and I'm feeling so warm and fuzzy because I'm like, I've been hearing this voice for <laughs> months and months. Absolutely. So, you and I connected, and many of you probably have received correspondence from. Fuel Outdoor Media. Cheryl is the guru when it comes to placing your brand in a transit environment, meaning your face, your logo, your tagline can be rolling on the buses <laughs> all over Northwest all Indiana. Over. And let me tell you, it works. Yeah. Some of my clients have used your services and you know, people pull up and they're like staring at the light at that same logo over and over and over. And don't let it be a train. Well, what we say <laughs> is it's hard to miss a bus. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you can try to go around it. But as I've even gotten calls that says, because we'll put your ad here, call us. And people have called me like, you know, I've been around. I've been behind this bus for 10 minutes. And <laughs> oh, I decided so to give you a call. Like, what is this all about? I love it. That's yeah, a yeah. perfect advertisement Absolutely, for you. Because uh, you just can't. Miss a bus. And you cannot. So tell me how you got started in fuel, or do you want to start with dear old Gary and growing up in Gary? Well, grew up in Gary, of course. Um, well, many years ago. Now, okay. West Side High, um, Tolleston Middle School. Same. You know, so then, of course, West Side High, and then moved to Purdue University in West Lafayette. Okay. So a lot of the family members, you know, that's where we went with Purdue. So that's when I left home and moved to Houston and did other various uh, operations. But to be honest with you, my nephew, who's the president of Fuel, okay. is Patrick Mincy out of Jacksonville, Florida. Shout out to Patrick. Hey, Patrick. As a matter of fact, it's his birthday today. He's in, Las, birthday. He's in Las Vegas. Oh, that's the uh, perfect place to I be. I know, right? Happy birthday. So it is really his brainchild. He started out in outdoor advertising, uh, doing bus benches. Um, and then he transitioned and saw an opportunity to start a business. Okay. So he started, and then I joined him in 2016 um, as VP and then bought into the company as part owner. That is awesome. So, so, so how is it working with your nephew? So I adore my nephews, but in my mind, they are my children. And so it's like... Yeah, it is. Sometimes <laughs> you do feel like you're working with your children. <laughs> well, yeah. it's a different kind of generation. Yeah. So, you know, they're they're not paper, they're kind of paperless and I'm old school, so oh, we kind yes. of put heads on a little bit of that. But, but you teach good. each other things, right? Exactly. Good, good, good. Exactly. So that's another thing. He does the more technical research -y kind of stuff and I do more of the detail things that got to get done stuff. Mm -hmm. so, so and I love your well. approach. Yeah. That's a great approach. So it's an old school, new school, but we... We meet in the middle and we get it done. So, so uh, let me just tell you how proud I am of you for being able to secure the account with Gary Public Transportation well, Corporation. And um, it gives you a connection to back home. Yeah. When we saw the RFP come out three years ago, I called him like, we got to go after this one. Because when you, it's nothing like working at home. It's nothing like feeling like you're getting back, mm -hmm. you know, and and like the letter we wrote to them, we'll take pride in this account. Yes. You know, any other business, it's just an account. Exactly. You know, for me, this is home. We're going to do it right. 
And I will look in the cameras and say, she takes great care of me when it comes to my clients with bus advertising. Well, I don't know if she knows it or not. Nobody's <laughs> watching. But sometimes it'll carry over a couple of weeks or something <laughs> after the date until they get ready to change the artwork out. I'm like, hey, that board was supposed to be expired. Yeah. Thanks, Cheryl. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> it happens and, you know, we don't really worry about it because... Yeah. It's all in scheduling and installers and artwork, you know, and artwork. And mm-hmm. so, you know, let's say it comes, it's supposed to come off November 1st, where my installer could be, you know, somewhere else. So November 1st is just November 1st. But cool. We'll Give to, me tell it, November yeah, 5th. I'll yeah, take exactly. it. <laughs> so we don't, and then when it gets cold, it might be even a little longer. I'll take that so, too. So it just depends. So yeah. a lot of my friends and colleagues are business owners right. and they may not be aware, Cheryl, but bus advertising is it's affordable. Yes, it really so is. So talk to a person who says, you know, I don't know. Cheryl, well, make, them, make them know. Well, what it is, it's affordable, but it's also an investment. Okay. So when I talk to people, it's like, if you want to invest in your company, don't look at this as a cost. Look at this as an investment. I like it. Because you're actually like putting your brand out there. Okay. You know, what price do you put on that? Yeah. So on the back of a bus... You know, you can get on the back of a bus. The smaller the panel, the cheaper it is, and uh-huh. the cheaper the monthly rate is. Now, if you want to do a full bus wrap, then we can accommodate that. That's my but, goal one day. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you see me riding around Gary like this? It makes but, me think of Sex in the City. Yeah. And at the end, where every time Carrie Bradshaw exactly. sees her face that. on the bus. I, I that, think yeah. of you every time I watch those videos. I, mean, I remember that. Yeah. So, so that's what we look at. It's affordable for... You know, we have realtors that have been on buses. We have law firms that have taken up a full bus. Mm-hmm. It just really depends on your your budget. Mm-hmm. You know, and maybe you can grow from a smaller budget to then feel like you want to do another bus. Or, I want to wrap, or, Cheryl. Okay, we'll okay. have to work on it. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be like, how obnoxious. And I'm be like, I don't care. Who are you with all over the county? Yeah, everybody know who you are. Exactly. That's right. And so, so talk to me. That's a perfect segue. And the benefits of that, we love billboards. I get it. Stationary. Hey, I'm staring at you. Right. But the mobile piece you have explained to me of the opportunities for moving around. Well, yeah. Gary Public Transit goes all the way down Broadway. It hits Cherville. It goes to Maryville. And it goes a little bit even into Valparaiso. Mm. And then it also goes out to the beach. Mm-hmm. So depending on what route your bus is on, one day it could be out the beach, driving around, getting around town. Or it could be going all the way down Broadway and making its way around there. So, and we can't guarantee what routes. It just depends right. on where the bus needs to go on that particular day because of operation. Okay. But, you know, it's not going to be in one stagnant place. Yeah. So, if if you're looking for customers that go down I-30, they're fine. Okay. Be on the billboard and they'll go down I-30. But if you're looking for to grab customers in where they work, where they shop, where they eat, whatever, then you're going to see them pretty much on the buses. Amber, what you think? You want to be on a bus? <laughs> she's, like, she's like, yeah. So for those of you who are watching, business owners looking to build your brand, want to make the investment, not a cost, yes. an, investment. an investment. How do they get in touch with you, Cheryl? And you're not just in Northwest Indiana. I mean, you have accounts around the country, right? In different markets. Yes. Because we have viewers from different markets. So that's well, why we ask. are in Panama City. We're in Lake Charles, Louisiana, Nashua, New Hampshire. We have bus benches in Toledo, Ohio. Um, so we're we're also in South Carolina now. Ooh, I'm so so proud we're of proud you. of uh, being a small boutique business that are branching out to um, to do more. Yeah, and so how would they reach out? What's the starting point? You do a consultation. Well, you can you can go to fuelmediaoutdoors.com. Okay, and then it will show all our different markets. Fuelmediaoutdoors.com. We'll make sure we put that in well, the comments. You. Yeah. Now you are an MBE, and what's it like? female owned small business i'm sure there are challenges because i have mine yes. share and tell me how you overcome prayer <laughs> amen so we're on uh, the same page absolutely but one thing again like i said we're a boutique company and so we're not trying to compete with the the large companies out there that can do let's say chicago transit you know, yeah talking about i'm claiming that for her like 300 something buses mm-hmm. you know we're we're in the market of maybe 100 to 25 buses okay uh, the challenge is capital mm-hmm. you know you have to when you bid on these projects you have to 
to put capital on the table as to what you can do for them. Yeah. Um, so I would say that's one of the challenges. Okay. But um, I think how we're unique is that our retention rate in our markets, you know, we actually have waiting lists on a couple of our on okay. a couple of our markets right now, okay. waiting for to get on when when is this person coming off the bus? Yeah, please get off the bus so I can get on the bus. So we do have, <laughs> and that's even throughout the pandemic in some of our markets we were able to sustain. But you know that even makes more sense during a pandemic. It's like what are other ways I can get my yeah. my my message out that if people are just standing outside because they were feeling like I need to be outside. Exactly. Well, there goes the bus, and there's that ad inside. <laughs> yeah, of the exactly. Front. So you talked about bus benches too, and I know you also. At least in Gary, I know about but signage shelters, and shelters. The, the Ad Commons is our new product down at the um, Adam the, Benjamin Center. Exactly. I'm such a Gary girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> the Adam Benjamin exactly. Center. Exactly. Uh-huh. So we did Ad Commons there to create more space. And it actually adds more color and pop to the building. Yeah. And so people that come, because the buses go there and do transfers and what have you. Yeah, and people so, are just standing there. Yeah, So I'll exactly. be like, they're like, who you with? <laughs> so who you waiting on? Who you with? We have a realtor that's actually there. Now the Excel Center <laughs> okay. is one of our major clients out there. Okay, shout out to the so, Excel Center. Yeah, I love so, those guys over there. Right, and we just got Dr. Walker on. Hey, us. Roland. Just saw him yesterday, yeah, our so health he commissioner. Just, he just did a king a rap with us. Uh, we got a bowling. Wait a minute, Roland has a rap. He has a he has a king rap on our. Butt. All right, okay, Roland, <laughs> I see you. It's time to level up. I need yeah, a rap. So the uh, Walker Medical. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So they just got on our bus about two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. So we're excited okay. about working with him and his um his his uh office. Well, I'm just smiling. I know you're like, why are you smiling at me so hard? First of all, because you're home. Yes. But second, you represent that next person, that opportunity for us as we are really, as business owners, trying to level up. So yeah. we're the next generation. I am um, the child of entrepreneurs. My parents own gas stations in Gary for almost 40 years. Okay. And I fought being an entrepreneur, <laughs> oh, so fight. hard. I was like, I need that nine to five. I need that insurance and I need that check every two weeks. Exactly. As God would have it, I'm in a different lane right now. And so we're constantly as entrepreneurs looking to say, how can people know me? Mm-hmm. How do they know I exist? And if I'm rolling all around the city, you're doing it for me by pushing the bus all around right, the region. Exactly. Gary Public Transit is a, a good resource and there's a lot of, um, we got a lot of opportunities, some open space. Uh, but one thing I do want people to know is that when you are paying to be on that transit, that money is going to Gary Public Transit. All right. And so what we see is dollars staying in Gary. Okay. You know, local businesses supporting local businesses. Oh, you talking Gary. my language. Exactly. You know, and so it's nice to get uh, the large corporations on the buses. But if, what we can do to help small businesses get their brand out, then that helps everybody, and it helps the economy of Gary. Oh, my goodness. It's like you've been watching all of my videos. (laughs) I say it at some point in every video, I talk about dollars turning over in our community, supporting our own. And it's no diss to all my colleagues and friends in other communities, but they're already doing it, Cheryl. So we have to do more of that. And so I know you travel home to see family and other things, but I'm so glad we have gotten a chance to connect. And we're going to hang out a little bit after because I am going to a place to introduce Introduce you to some more entrepreneurs. Do you all want to meet Cheryl? Cheryl, how can they call you, email you, and bug you and say, Chelsea told me to call you? Cheryl at FuelMediaHoldings.com. Cheryl at FuelMediaHoldings.com. Listen, you're on the couch. Put those chips down. (laughs) Get a notebook. You need to start advertising on buses. I'm going to do it. I need that rap. There you go. I'm I'm ready to get wrapped <laughs> on a bus, or at least a little sign. Let me stop saying that when you be like, it'll cost this. But I it's understand investment. the investment. <laughs> I do understand that. And um, last question before we get out of here, okay. as far as the design goes. So you have somebody who may be interested, and they're like, but I don't have a graphic guy, so what we should my one. sign look like? All right, tell yeah. us how that works. Well, you will talk to you about what you want to do. So, typically, someone has something somewhere. Okay. So what we want to do is let's say, let's say see what right right here. Right here. So we'll <laughs> say, well, have you advertised on a billboard? Obviously, a lot of them have done something on a website. Okay. So we like to make everything mirror each other. You, know, you don't want to have a brand 
on the bus that doesn't follow suit with your, you know, with your website, whatever. Okay. So our designer, if you don't have anything, he will go out to your website, try to pull your logo down and get a nice uh, picture of you and mm -hmm. then come up with whatever tagline you want. Okay. Because quite frankly, on a bus or interior in the bus or even on a bus shelter, people are driving and walking. So it's not like they got a lot of time to read a lot of stuff. That's right. So it really needs less is more. Okay. You know, an attorney may say injured, question mark, phone number. That's Call all me. you need to know. I right? got you. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. all you need to know. So yeah. we keep it clean. We keep it simple. And quite frankly, our designer is really at no more cost than what we already do. Okay. So, yeah. So, I love to give shout outs and kudos. I'm sure you want to say hey to your GPTC folks, one of which is my buddy. Shout out to David Wright. Absolutely. That's my buddy. He's my <laughs> counterpart when it comes to communications. Absolutely. And I notice the expansion that they're doing on their brand proper exactly. as far as the bus shelters, the little tweets that they, they actually put just out. got some new buses. They got three new buses. Okay, Gary. That, and they're getting ready to get some hybrids in if they don't already have them. Okay, city so, of yeah. Gary, let's go GPTC. And side note, they're also hiring. Somebody told me to say that. Okay. Go to GPTC <laughs> website and look at what they have. Um, serious inquiries only. Okay, I'm back. Right. <laughs> but Good plug. Um, a great, um, great partnership. Exactly. Um, we're entering into the holidays. Um, what does that look like in your business? Do people do like specialty? I want to, you know, get people to shop with me. That kind of stuff. Um, we typically don't really get into seasonal stuff. It okay, depends. And we do have um, a chef black. He's uh okay, another shout out to Hey Chef Black. Chef Black. We're working with him on getting something going for the holidays for his business. Now he is everything. Yeah. <laughs> My pastry king, you you super talented Gary I T U, but I'm yeah. just great. So How did you hook up with Chef Black? Through David. Yeah. So See what he, I'm saying? That's contact. how it works though, you exactly. know. Exactly. So a lot of people will contact GPTC wanting to go on the bus and then of course as us being their advertising company. They will then forward them to us. So that's okay. how I met Chef Black. But mostly what we kind of do this time of year going into the holidays is work with people on their budgets for next year. Perfect. Because what do you, how you want to level up for 2023. You talking so, to me? Yeah. So I want to wrap. Exactly. So <laughs> what's your budget for 2023? Strategically what you want to look like for 2023. And then we can work with you on your budget for that. Well, that's the question. What do you want to look like for 2023? Are you starting a brand? Are you building on a brand? And as Cheryl said, are you ready to level up? One more time, tell us how to reach your website, email address, how, how do we Fuel catch you? com and Cheryl at FuelMediaHoldings.com. There it is. Another Seawood session in the books. I have been your host, Chelsea Whittington, chatting with my fe fellow West Side Cougar, <laughs> Cheryl Anderson, talking all things branding, mobile advertising. Make that move. Make that investment. Make that commitment. Thanks so much for tuning in. Share this video and we'll see you next time. Bye.